Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. It figures that the company that would break Scorpid's world record for fastest and most powerful production crossbow would be <laughs> Scorpid. The Ventilator Extreme is one of three model upgrades Scorpid released this year that will shoot a 400 grain arrow at 440 feet per second. And what's crazy to me is for all of that speed and power, it's also insanely accurate. As you just saw, this Ventilator Extreme is capable of launching an arrow into the same hole five times in a row at 25 yards. And that's why it's what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. The Ventilator Extreme is a power upgrade to the very popular ventilator crossbow from Scorpid. 175 pound Barnsdale laminated limbs end in large aggressive cams that are lighter and faster than the original ventilator cams. The cams also have some subtle design changes that make them friendlier to cables and string servings. The reverse draw orientation of the bow gives the Ventilator Extreme an 18 and a half inch power stroke, generating up to 173 pound feet of kinetic energy and up to 440 feet per second with a 400 grain arrow. Both these figures are the current world records for a commercially produced bow. The Mil-Spec Type 3 anodized aluminum riser has been beefed up with reinforcing braces to handle the extra power. Incredibly though, the Extreme riser is only one ounce heavier than the original riser. The bow rests in a highly skeletonized synthetic stock finished in the same Realtree hardwoods camo found on the limbs. The stock's texture is rough but not abrasive, helping your hands to keep a hold of the bow when that buck of a lifetime walks into view. The buttstock has a comfortable cheek rest leading to a joint where it breaks away from the rest of the stock to fold out of the way when cocking. A generous groove behind the latch housing ensures your cocking device stays in place while drawing the string. The rail is hollow and open-ended to save weight. Integral guards are machined into the rail base to reduce the chance a shooter's fingers will end up in the path of the string. A toothy, vibration-free stirrup accommodates even the muddiest of hunting boots. The Ventilator Extreme isn't just built for speed, it's also built for precision. Replaceable string stops are standard, which not only reduce vibration at the shot, but also improve the release of the arrow from the string. Scorpids are known for their great triggers, and the Ventilator Extreme sacrifices nothing in that regard. The latch has an automatic anti-dry fire mechanism to protect the bow should your brain check out and you pull the trigger before loading an arrow. Scorbit offers a number of scope packages with this bow coming with a Hawk SR. The SR is illuminated with multiple reticle subtensions that are adjustable via the magnification dial. I'm a big fan of Hawk crossbow optics and the SR is a great match for this bow. Like all Scorbits, the Ventilator Extreme is made in the USA and comes with a lifetime warranty to the original purchaser. A lot of people look at a reverse draw crossbow and think, that's got to be a gimmick. But <laughs> the performance speaks for itself, and the reverse draw is exactly how Scorpid is able to generate that kind of performance in such a small crossbow. First of all, it's got an 18 and a half inch power stroke. By putting the string all the way at the end of the rail, it's able to generate a huge amount of force on the arrow with only 175 pound limbs because 18 and a half inches of draw this way is 18 and a half inches of acceleration the other direction. That's why I often get medieval crossbow fans telling me, oh, well, there are 400 pound, 500 pound, 1,000 pound crossbows. They were more powerful. No, they had higher draw weights, but this is a compound bow with some pretty aggressive cams, very modern materials that are very good at storing energy and releasing it back to the arrow and it's got a much, much longer power stroke than most other crossbows, even modern crossbows. So that's why this is able to generate such high performance figures. The other thing about the reverse draw that's really cool that, that a lot of people miss is the nearly per parallel, perfectly parallel limbs. It means it's a very smooth shooting crossbow. You can't get parallel limbs like this on a conventional crossbow. If you thought about something exactly this long and you flipped the riser to the front, the string would be back here. You'd have like a four inch, five inch power stroke. The, the arrow's gonna drop off the front of the bow. You need to have a, an extremely long crossbow to get parallel limbs like this uh, in a conventional setup and get the same kind of power stroke. So Scorbid really figured, figured this out. They cracked two nuts at once. They get us an extremely high level of performance out of a short package 
and they get a really smooth shooting bow. And it is a smooth shooting bow. Even though there's more recoil to the ventilator extreme than I experienced with my bigger and heavier RDT-165, it's still less than you'll find with most crossbows. You can see how the limbs travel out to the sides as they release their energy, rather than towards the front of the bow like with traditional crossbows. Many crossbows actually have forward recoil due to their limb forces, but Scorpas travel rearwards. <laughs> Man! That is so crazy. It's the most powerful crossbow, the fastest crossbow production-wise in the world, and it's super accurate too. You wouldn't think that would go together. This is just as much a tag driver as my RDT-165. After re-zeroing after my first two shots, I got nothing but bullseyes at 25 yards, finishing by putting another two shots in the same hole on the upper right diamond. You don't need a crossbow to be this accurate to hunt, but it makes practice even more enjoyable for me, and it gives me extra confidence at the moment of truth. Believe it or not, Scorpio makes three crossbows with the same exact performance specifications. Each shares claim to being the world's fastest and most powerful production crossbow. The ventilator, as the name implies, is the hunting oriented crossbow between the three. It's got the smallest form to it, and it also has a folding stock. The folding stock makes it easier to cock, which I will show you. And you can actually get a tripod mount. When this is locked into a tripod, you can fold the stock down and it's a lot easier to aim in a blind. You can even remove the folding part of the stock and use it as a crossbow pistol. That's not what it's actually originally designed for, but that's a handy feature to it as well. But since it's only a magnet, that holds the stock in place, it can cause problems for some people, which is why they don't like it. First of all, I'd never try to pick up a rifle by grabbing just the butt stock. But since this has a handle look to it, some people do. Actually, a lot of people do initially. And when you do that, the crossbow, the scorbit, is going to fold up and it's scary and it's frustrating. And people find that they can't detrain themselves from, from grabbing back there and then they get mad and then they zip tie this or, or whatever. The other situation where people have a problem with this folding is in walking around with the crossbow. There are people who, are, it's just natural for them to hold a rifle or a crossbow under the armpit and then it breaks open uh, d doing that as well. I don't have problems with either of them because I don't grab rifles by the back, by the buttstock like this, so I don't grab my scorpids that way. And I hold rifles and, and all my crossbows ready like this. So it's not an issue for me, but scorpid has listened to its customer base, the ones that don't like the folding stock. And if you don't want a folding stock, you can get the Orion. It's the same front end as the ventilator, but it's in a stock that doesn't fold. With the ventilator, you can get a straight pull sled or this rope cocker, which actually reduces the pulling effort by half. And even though the draw is only 175 pounds, because it's so long, I much prefer the rope cocker. The big thing about reverse draw crossbows is the string is really far away. It's very close down by your toes. So you're bent over, whether you use the folding stock or not, very far and it's at a weaker part for your back. And I much prefer the mechanical advantage I get with this rope cocker. So you just fold the stock, put your foot through the stirrup, and this actually rests between my legs. I'm 5'8", I'm not a tall guy, but this makes it actually very easy for me to get over the crossbow, get the sled hooked onto the string, and I've actually shortened the rope on the cocker in order to actually have tension on the string before I start my pull. That makes it a lot easier to keep the sled in place while I'm reaching for the handles. And it also means I have less distance to pull up when I cock, as you'll see. Since the power stroke is so long, you can see how high my hands get, even with the shortened rope. You're gonna have to play around with the length and make sure it's a good length for you, but make sure that once you cock it, you put the safety on before taking the sled off. Then the sled is done, put the stock back in place, 
and with these fire knock knocks you want to make sure you snap it on the string now the dry fire is going to work plus you're not going to have a partial dry fire and then you're ready to shoot <laughs> man shooting targets that hit that close <laughs> with this bow is a dangerous thing i hope i still have fletchings on the end of that arrow <laughs> You can see that the Ventilator Extreme is a lot smaller than the original world's fastest and most powerful crossbow, the RDT-165 that's been on my channel a lot. I've had it for, gosh, is it six years? Maybe five years? Actually, whenever it came out, I can't even remember. It's been at least half a decade that I've been shooting this RDT-165. And its larger size actually makes it smoother at the shot, which is why the third upgraded crossbow from Squibber this year is the VTEC. There's now a VTEC Extreme, which has the same performance as a Ventilator Extreme, but a size that's a lot closer to the RDT-165, and it's geared towards target shooters. The Ventilator Extreme is going to be on my channel a lot going forward because it's the new reigning world's fastest and most powerful. But make no mistake, my RDT-165 still shoots like the day I got it. I just changed out the cables and string, and as long as you take care of those parts on any Scorpid crossbow, they're gonna last a really long time. And when you factor in the, how much farther ahead of everybody else the performance of the Extreme Series is, these bows are gonna keep you happy and smiling for a really long time. If you want to learn more about the Extreme Series from Scorpid, be sure to click the link in the video description below. Be sure to follow me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash twangandbang.net spelled out D-O-T-N-E-T. -E there you'll see what I'm doing between these videos here on Full 30 and YouTube. And be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.